Welcome to the EZU course about direct bill payments in EasyLinks Accounting. In this course, you will learn how to record direct bill payments. This video is intended for any user at an agency with EasyLinks Accounting that can enter receipts. So, let's get started. Oftentimes, the customer makes a payment to the agency for a direct bill policy. The agency then forwards the payment to the carrier on behalf of the customer. So, we'll review how to record this as a direct bill payment. To begin, go to a customer's invoices tab and scroll down to their receipts grid. Now, click add direct bill payment. Here, select the correct branch and policy, then choose the payment date. Next, select the payment type out of the four options, cash, check, credit slash EFT, or forward. Please note, only use forward when money does not enter or leave the agency's bank account. If a customer is paying by check, select the deposit and enter the check number. For a credit slash EFT payment, select the bank account and payment to the direct bill carrier is pre-filled from the policy, but this can be changed. Now, enter the amount that carrier is owed and the amount received field is pre-filled with the total due amount. If the amount received differs from the amount due, you will want to change this. You can check the box for sweep account if the payment has already been uploaded to the carrier and the carrier individually sweeps your agency's bank account. Please note, sweep account will create a single EFT payment record with the current day's date. So, if the carrier payment needs a different date, it's a good idea to have sweep account unchecked and then create the check manually later. Additionally, if sweep account and credit slash EFT are selected, then the bank account selected will be for both the deposit and payment to the carrier. You can use the Add Fee button to include any agency fees and taxes. This is the same list of line items available to add to an agency bill invoice. Please note that if a fee is added to a direct bill payment and forward is selected, two receipts will be created. One for the forward payment and one credit slash EFT receipt for the fee. At the Deposit drop-down, we recommend selecting an existing deposit when applicable or none to create the deposit later. If new is selected, then the bank account can also be selected for the deposit to be created. If an agency has branch accounting, then only the bank accounts visible to that branch will be displayed. To change this list, please contact an accounting admin at your agency's main office. Lastly, you can enter a comment in the field if you wish to do so. When ready, click Save. You can print a receipt by using the Actions menu at the top of the following page. That's all for this EZU course on direct bill payments in EasyLinks Accounting. You should now have the knowledge to record direct bill payments. Thanks for watching.